crafty people. I have a design team project to share with you for Lavish Laces. Lavish Laces is owned by Gisela. It's an Etsy store and she is in the process of closing her store. Oh, so sad. She has a beautiful store. I mean, I love that you could get your wild orchid craft flowers from her, but right now she is closing. So you want to head over and get the last of the goodness. Um, probably some good deals to be had. All right, so I created some cards. I'm gonna start with this pink one. And this is, I believe, the last, or almost the last of my studio, pink studio light papers. Um, really pretty, let me get this glue string off. Really pretty pink papers, not Christmas papers, but I turned it into a Christmas card. Uh, my sweet new little, uh, one of the newest Christmas collection Tildas. And this um, stamp here is from the, uh, the new collection. And to you from me is also part of the Magnolia stamp set as are the little, um, the little berry leaves, holly berry leaves. Um, there's a little wintry piece back there. And then um, you can see back behind here is snowflakes. Um, I've got some white corrugated board. Um, this pink lace is what I used from Lavish Laces. It goes down both sides of the corrugated board. This pink trim here, one of my super favorites from Gisela's store, um, also um, from Lavish Laces. My flowers are created using magnolia dyes. Um, let's see if I have them handy. These are the dyes right here from Magnolia. And there's two of them, two different sizes, and you just uh, make bunches of them and layer them. So uh, blings from the DIY Boutique Supply. These are just some sprays I got at Michael's, and I cut them up and stick them in my flower clusters um, to make them look wintry and beautiful. Then I have, um, Gisela also carries this tiny... Um, rosette trim I cut it in half and that is my stopper for my card and then um, this is a nice light paper uh, for the sentiment area so that is card number one all right so let's set that one aside my next card is another very pink card <laughs> Um, I used some pretty lace from Lavish Laces around the edge of this card. Um, I also used the pink lace all the way around my circle um, to, you know, border my, my little uh, Magnolia carousel pony. Um, I have a huge snowflake behind him. This is a Magnolia sentiment wishing you the merriest of Merry Christmases. Um, I have two layers of lace here from Gisela store, and this is a pink lace, and then I layered a white lace on top of it. Um, let's see if we can see it over here. There we go. And then I made this bow out of uh, beautiful shimmery lace from Gisela store. Um, I used my Sutter Bow It All, and that is a bling from the DIY Boutique Supply. And then that car, oh, let me show you too, these flowers. Um, these are the magnolia dyes, and then I just layered my wild orchid craft flowers on top, and I stickled them and then sprinkled them with diamond dust. This card pops up, and I forgot to put something to hold it up, so I'm going to probably put some pearls right there. Um, and then a beautiful sentiment area with the, with the beautiful pink flowers. So that's card number two. Let's stick with pink and then we'll go with the crazy wild color in a minute. <laughs> um, so this one is very pink and it has um, some teal kind of mint colors in it. Um, I use this gorgeous, gorgeous like Venice type thick lace um, on this card. Really, really beautiful lace. Um, I used 
the white, the small white rosettes behind my flowers on either side here that you can pick up from Lavish Laces as well. Um, I just layered some snowflakes and um, this is actually, this is a Kaiser Craft paper collection. So I stickled and diamond dusted my flowers again. This die back here is a, a magnolia die. This pops up on some pearl trim and then there is your sentiment area. So that's card number three. All right, now we're gonna get wild and crazy. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Here's card number four. Look at that, oh, craziness. All right, well, this paper collection has some lavender kind of purpley ornaments in it. So I wanted to pull from that. Um, I used my um, purple glitter paper. Um, this is a magnolia die back here. I covered up most of the paper in the circle, but that's the way it is. It's got these beautiful ornaments hanging and I knew I wanted my flower cluster for it to look like the ornaments were hanging from the flower cluster. I tucked in these uh, magnolia um, sprays here. Again, I glittered and or I stickled and um, diamond dusted my flowers. And um, this is a sentiment from the Kaiser Craft collection. Um, I purchased these purple um, snowflakes at Hobby Lobby. Um, here is the lace that I used from Gisela's store and unfortunately I covered a lot of it up again um, and then I also used this pink pearls all around my circle and covered lots of that up too <laughs> um, it pops up here I've got two layers of lace there's a white and a pink back behind there in my sentiment area and you know I showed you lots of wild orchid craft flowers you can purchase your wild orchid craft flowers from Gisela's uh, Lavish Laces store. So if I was you, since the store will be closing soon, I would head over there and get all the wild orchid craft flowers you can get because you're going to save on your shipping because they're going to come uh, from the U.S. and not um, from the international, which is more expensive. So I love it. If you're new to my channel, if you tell me which one of the cards is your favorite and if you want to tell me why it's even more fun um, I'm on a card creating frenzy although I have many albums to make I promise you I'm gonna to try to wait till closer to Christmas to make those so I can make a lot of cards so my card people can purchase these I will be listing them on eBay um, hopefully this morning I will link them in the description box down below have a happy scrappy day and head over to lavish laces thanks for watching bye